हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस पार्ट वी डिस्कस अबाउट सम प्रोसेसिस सच लाइक एज थर्मिट रिएक्शन व्हाट डू मीन बाय थर्मिट रिएक्शन और एल्युमिनोथर्मिक रिएक्शन इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक सेपरेशन मींस आयरन जैसे सब्सटेंस जो मैग्नेटिक सब्सटेंस होते हैं उनको नॉन मैग्नेटिक सब्सटेंस से कैसे सेपरेट किया जाता है एंड नेक्स्ट प्रोसेस इज फ्रोथ फ्लोटेशन फर्स्टली वी डिस्कस ऑन थर्मिट रिएक्शन व्हाट इज थर्मिट रिएक्शन and where this reaction is used thermit reaction is also known as aluminothermic aluminothermic reaction what is thermit reaction or what is aluminothermic reaction the chemical reaction between aluminum with iron oxide that reaction is known as thermit reaction although this reaction is highly exothermic it means release energy the chemical reaction in which iron oxide iron oxide stand for Fe2O3, Fe2O3, react reaction with in which iron oxide with aluminium, Al. This reaction is highly exothermic. This reaction. is highly exothermic means during this process while they these substances react with each other high amount of energy is released as both the molten state of metals such like as iron oxide and aluminium make a molten state and this type of molten state mixture of metals used to join the railway track as well as crack machinery part exothermic reaction and how is the chemical reaction take place fe2o3 plus when react with aluminium it forms aluminium oxide and iron the chemical reaction is balanced this is highly exothermic reaction this type of reaction is used yani where this chemical reaction is used this chemical reaction this chemical reaction is used to join the railway track to join the railway track as well as as well as crack machinery part crack machinery parts this is thermit reaction and aluminothermic reaction now there are two types of ores such like as iron ores and aluminium ores name the iron ores and aluminium ores the ores of ores of iron there are two ores of iron there are two ores of iron one is hematite and other one is magnetite hematite and other one is magnetite hematite the chemical formula of hematite fe2o3 and magnetite fe3o4 these are the two ores of iron same how many ores of aluminum although the aluminum have three ores bauxite cryolite corundum but we use only two types of ores of aluminum bauxite and cryolite ores of aluminum two ores 
bauxite and other one is cryolite the chemical formula bauxite is al2o3 and cryolite is na3 alf6 एल्यूमिनियम ऑक्साइड इज द ऑर ऑफ एल्यूमिनियम जिसको बाक्साइड बोलते हैं और दूसरा है क्रायोलाइट जिसका केमिकल फॉर्मूला है एन ए थ्री ए एल एफ सिक्स एंड केमिकल नेम इज सोडियम एल्यूमिनियम फ्लोराइड दीज आर द टू ओर्स ऑफ एल्यूमिनियम एंड अब हेमेटाइट एंड मैग्नेटाइट आर ऑर ऑफ आयरन देर आर सम मोर रिएक्शन हाउ वी सेपरेट सम सल्फाइड ओर वी कैन सेपरेट सल्फाइड ओर बाय द रोस्टिंग प्रोसेस एज वेल एज देर आर सम मेटल सच लाइक एज जिंक कॉपर दे आर हाइड्रोफोबिक मीन्स दीज रिएक्शन डू नॉट रिएक्ट विद वोटर क्या काम करते हैं इनको यदि हमें सेपरेशन करना है तो सेपरेशन करने के लिए एक अलग टेक्निक है जिसको बोलते हैं फ्रोथ फ्लोटेशन तो वट इज फ्रोथ फ्लोटेशन प्रोसेस फ्रोथ फ्लोटेशन प्रोसेस दिस केमिकल रिएक्शन बेस्ड ऑन हाइड्रोफोबिक एंड हाइड्रोफिलिक हाइड्रोफोबिक द मेटल विच डू नॉट रिएक्ट विद वॉटर those are that condition is known as hydrophobic and react with metal the uh, react with water that is called hydrophilic some sulfide ores such as zinc sulfide or zns jisko kya bolte hain zinc blend zinc blend or जिंक सल्फाइड वी ऑबटेन मेटल फ्रॉम या मेटल बाय फ्रोथ फ्लोटेशन फ्रोथ फ्लोटेशन प्रोसेस वट इज फ्रोथ फ्लोटेशन while we do this type of chemical reaction firstly we made made the powder of the compound firstly we have to prepare the powder of the metal we yeah firstly we will take the powder of the powder of मेटालिक कौन सी मेटालिक सल्फाइड ओर की मेटालिक सल्फाइड ओर एंड मिक्स विद और मिक्स इन वॉटर इन ए वेसल और यूटेंसिल्स सपोज वी हैव दिस टाइप ऑफ यूटेंसिल्स विद फिल्ड विद वॉटर This is the vessels in which we filled with water. This is filled with water, and we mix the powder of zinc sulfide ore. The powder of zinc sulfide ore is mixed in this water. The zinc metal is hydrophobic. It means it doesn't react with the water. We aeration. to this tank we we'll take some aeration or pendulum such like structures which contain holes and while we blow air through these pendulums through this straw blow air and this is the powder of metallic ore mix with water 
as we blow air to this solution some froth or we can say that some foams like structures may arises at the bottom bubbles arises in the solution these are the bubbles while as we blow the air through the solution bubbles will produce and in this bubble the zinc metal which doesn't react with the water comes out at the surface of the water with the bubbles zinc metals zinc metal come out at the surface of water with the bubbles the rest contain impurities into the below the water as we remove this flow the froth kya karenge hum remove kar lenge the froth with the zinc metal is removed through this solution now as the water dried only zinc metal remained and after that we purify this metal this process known as froth flotation process because why there is, this is called froth flotation because this contain bubbles and bubbles are known as froth the next technique is how we can obtain magnetic separate uh, we, how we can separate a magnetic substance with the non magnetic substances means jo magnetic substance jaise ki rn hai in ko non magnetic substances such like as mix with silver gold etc substances silver and gold are non metallic non magnetic substances how we can separate this magnetic substance means iron ko it's a non magnetic substance such like as silver and gold that process is known as jo inko technique jis technique se magnetic substance ko non magnetic substance se separate kiya jata that is called magnetic separation magnetic separation this is also process we can obtain or we can separate magnetic substances magnetic substance such like as iron from non magnetic non magnetic substances the technique by which we can separate magnetic substance with non magnetic substances such like as copper aluminum uh, you can say that silver gold etc so many metals which are non magnetic while the magnetic and non magnetic substances are mixed with each other how we can separate only magnetic substances मैग्नेट सब मीन मान लिया जाए सपोज कीजिए हमारे पास ये सारी मेटल्स हैं और इसमें आयरन भी मिक्स हो गया हमने आयरन को इससे अलग करना सेपरेट करना है तो कौन सी टेक्निक अपनाएंगे मैग्नेटिक सेपरेशन हाउ दिस प्रोसेस कैन टेक प्लेस टेक ए मैग्नेटिक सेपरेशन मशीन दिज आर टू व्हील्स रोलिंग विद ए फैन बेल्ट यू कैन सी दैट and arrange a magnetic substance just below the or you can say that a magnet a magnet just below the machine while we put some ores of mixing of these all metals suppose this ore contains iron aluminium copper iron uh, as well as gold silver met many more firstly we will make the powder of all the ores of metals such like a these metal with this iron firstly we have to prepare powder as the machine started to rolling its bed the substances are fall off downwards the iron magnetic substance attract towards the magnet and they may be separated from here 
other non metallic substances such like as aluminium iron uh, aluminium silver and gold they may be separated here why these substances only iron magnetic substance move towards inwards this is due to the irony substance attract towards the magnet so this technique is known as magnetic separation what is magnetic separation the technique or process in which we can separate magnetic substances through unknown magnetic substances how we can separate take a mag magnetic separation machine firstly we will take the ores powder of the ores which is mixed in many metals with iron as the ores are put on the moving belt of the machine we will put also a magnet just below the machine the magnet attract the magnetic substance and non magnetic sub substances are separated from here this technique is known as magnetic separation clear